higher age units have been nerfed on beta. But to understand why, we need to first talk about ranking points. Go to the rankings on any world of Forge of Empires and go all the way to the end. You'll notice that everyone has the exact same points of 252, the number of points that you have just after completing the tutorial. In fact, if we go through this list, we find that on the US server's Anchor world, the first player to reach over 1,000 points is ranked 30,066 out of over 45,000 players. In other words, a third of the players who start the game barely make it past the tutorial, and the first player to hit 10,000 points is ranked 23,120, meaning that half the players who start the game never hit 10,000 points. Those are really rough numbers for Forge of Empires, and understandably they want to do everything they can to get players engaged in the game so that they might decide to spend money and produce more revenue. As such, it was recently announced on the beta server that a new test is running where the Iron Age through the Colonial Age are much easier. In total, tech tree costs have been reduced, including both Forge points and resources like goods, coins, and supplies. However, features unlocked in the tech tree have been moved to later techs, such that it still takes the same amount of time to reach them. For example, the Antiques Dealer was previously unlocked with the Mercenaries tech in the early Middle Ages, but it is now unlocked with the High Middle Ages tech Crossbows. The rest of the features were also all moved later in the tree, as you can see in this list, except for Reconstruction Mode, which is now available earlier in the Iron Age tech tree. Buildings are also much cheaper and construction times are faster, but they still have the same productions as always. The campaign map has been changed a lot with scouting times, negotiation costs, and infiltration costs all being reduced, and even enemy armies have been adjusted to make fighting on the map easier. Additionally, quests have been changed massively. The story was completely reworked to be shorter, side quests were removed entirely from these earlier ages, and only recurring quests and assumedly bonus quests have been left untouched. So now the question is what this means for us players. And the answer is some good things and some bad things. The good news is that it is a lot faster to move through those early ages. In fact, each age's text only cost about 120 forge points in total until you reach the industrial age where you hit a wall of the age being at its full normal cost of 1140 forge points and all the goods required with it. There's a lot of debate on beta right now as to whether this will help or harm newer players, but there's something that very few people know. This change slightly nerfs higher age units. If you don't know what higher age units are, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's possible to get troops from higher ages in lower ages, such as getting up to oceanic future troops in the industrial age. Now, if you're worrying about early middle age units or colonial age units, they haven't been touched to my knowledge since they are part of the bonus quest lines. However, if you're in the colonial age, some things have changed for the worse. First, and most egregiously, Ragu Silvertongue's betrayal of you was completely removed. He just goes from giving you quests to never being seen again. The big change though is that the last colonial age story quest will now require you to research either industrialization or extract the two first industrial age technologies. This doesn't sound too bad, until you realize that this means that it is impossible to get industrial age or progressive era troops in colonial age now, since you can't push the story any further. But the problem here isn't actually getting troops in the colonial age. That's sad, but it's not terrible considering that you can just age up to the industrial age to get more troops. The problem is actually with the industrial age, now that you can't start even its own story until you reach the age. For most players, I recommend completing at the very least the industrial age story in the colonial age, and then maybe pushing on to the progressive era until you get tech block. This massively reduces the number of techs that you'll have to research when you finally age up to the industrial age. However, now you can't do that. The Industrial Age story requires only four technologies, but they are specifically two military, one residential, and one production tech. After researching all of these, you're already halfway through the Industrial Age tech tree. Then, adding on the Progressive Era story, you need more specific technologies to complete it. If you have saved no technologies from previous ages, and why would you with the techs being so cheap, you would only have five techs left after ending the Progressive Era story. 
subtracting the modern era stories 1 tech and the postmodern era's 3 techs and the first tech of the future era story. That means, my friends, that you are exactly one technology short of being able to get hover tanks if you have saved no previous age techs before entering the industrial age. Of course, you can still save up previous age techs, but I'm not sure yet if the story will require any tech research besides the last colonial age one, so even that may not be as much of an option. In short terms, it looks like getting hover tanks, or even higher troops, in the industrial age will be a bit more tricky, and you'll have to plan a lot more carefully to get them. Due to the reduced costs, most players will probably be in the Colonial Age or Industrial Age by the time they even figure out that higher age units are an option, and they will get stuck until they move to the Progressive Era or higher. And for players camping in the Colonial Age, it looks like there's less of a reason to do so now. Of course, this is still an ongoing test on beta, and it could be changed or tweaked before coming to live servers, but I'm doubtful that they're going to change the story questline yet again. I'll be sure to keep you all posted. Check out my Discord server linked below if you want to discuss this and stay up to date. I'll also link my Higher Age Units guide if you've never heard of it before. It's pretty cool. And with that, I'll see you all next time, hopefully with some better news.